Hello and welcome to my compilation of short form videos I've made over the last year that I think will be very helpful and enjoyable to watch for beginner cookie decorators. I'll pop in and out throughout the video so be sure to have your sound on. It's packed with helpful tips and tricks and even includes my royal icing recipe. You might want to grab a pen and paper and take notes because this is a good one. Enjoy! Let's make a double batch of royal icing. First, I add my meringue powder to my powdered sugar in the mixing bowl and mix on low speed until they are well combined. Then, I add half of my water, still mixing on the lowest speed. It's best to turn off your mixer while adding ingredients if you don't wanna risk a complete disaster like the one I shared a few days ago. I then add my light corn syrup, or what we call Cairo syrup. I always try to give a little rinse of my measuring spoon in the remaining water, and then I add that to the mixing bowl. 
Once most of the dry ingredients are mixed in and it's safe to raise the speed, I turn the mixer up to number two and mix until I no longer see any remaining dry ingredients. Here, I'm being sure to scrape the bowl very well. Do not rush this part. I mix again on speed number two, just a few seconds until everything I scrape down is mixed in. And then I add my extracts, raise the speed to number four, and continue mixing. There always seems to be a fuss between decorators about how long you should mix your royal icing. And from what I can tell, it's really just personal preference. I won't argue that one way is better than the other, but I will share how I mix my royal icing and for how long. At this point, I am adding my last ingredient from my recipe and mixing until it's incorporated. As you can see here, it's looking pretty good so far, but there's something very deceiving going on under that silky smooth icing that must not be ignored. I'm scraping down my paddle first, and then the worst part. Don't cut corners here. Scrape every bit from every inch of that mixing bowl. Then, scrape the spatula. We are busy bees. This is our honey, and we don't waste. Now to the big question, how long do I mix after everything is added? The answer for me is one minute. That's it. In one minute, your base icing will be properly mixed and ready to color and thin to the consistency you need. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask. Hey y'all, it's me, Becca. As many of you know, I never put my face on video, but I'm tired of being scared of that. And today I'm celebrating something really special. So I wanted to celebrate by sharing my royal icing recipe with all of you. I have my recipe book here and I'm gonna read off the ingredients that I use. I use 16 ounces of powdered sugar, three tablespoons of meringue powder, five tablespoons of water, one teaspoon of vanilla or whichever flavor you like, and one tablespoon of caro syrup. That will give a soft bite to your icing and a little bit of shine. I hope that this helps all of you. I appreciate you all so much and I hope you all have a Merry Christmas. Let's prep sugar cookie dough ingredients. First, I sift all of my flour into a large bowl. I also sift my baking powder because it almost always has clumps. Accurate measuring is very important when baking and it is the key to producing a consistent product. I place my labeled zip top bags in a bowl on my scales and scoop in the flour. On this day, I needed to make two batches of dough, so I prepared two bowls of ingredients as well. Once all of my flour is weighed and bagged, I measure and add my baking powder and salt. Next, I weigh out my sugar in small zip top bags that have been labeled. In less than 15 minutes, I've prepared enough ingredients to make two batches of sugar cookie dough now and four batches for later. Time to get baking. This is how I make my sugar cookie dough for cutout cookies. I cream my butter and sugar until it is pale and fluffy. I add my egg and mix until it is well combined. With my mixer on low speed, I start adding my dry ingredients about a half to three quarter cups at a time. 
Once all of my dry ingredients have been added, I increase the speed to low medium and continue mixing until all of the ingredients have combined and the dough has pulled itself completely away from the bowl. As soon as the bowl is clean of all ingredients, I stop mixing. Over mixing sugar cookie dough can result in a thin, crispy, and dense cookie. I know my cookie dough is just right when I can press it together without it crumbling or sticking to my fingers, and this sugar cookie dough is just right. Many of you have asked me to make a tutorial on how I cut the tip of my piping bag. First, I make sure that the seam is exactly down the center, not even off to the side a little bit. I have a very sharp pair of scissors that I use and I normally hold the bag up eye level before I make the cut. I cut the smallest amount off of the end and then I test to see the size of my string of icing. I'm cutting again, but this time I cut a little bit off and it's not as straight as I want it. And you'll see the smallest bit that I'm cutting off right here. That small little bit really makes a difference because it will cause your icing to curl and pull towards that section. 